Hello, welcome to Studio Talks. My name is James Swift. I'm Josh Van Norton, and our guest today is Greg Oldfield. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Hello. We, we keep forgetting. You should to, probably start telling guests. Yeah, that's to the other say thing. the name. We keep really? forgetting to tell the guests to introduce themselves. Um, but yeah, hello, Greg. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. How are you doing with the lockdown? Um. It's not a well, it's I'm kind of losing track of time. I've lost, mm. I've, I've got no idea how long it's been going on. Um, but with the weather being good, you know, it's been all right, really. Just yeah. outside and mm. strange yeah. time, very strange. It is very, very strange, very yeah. weird thing to happen. I've had... that thing if you'd have said, you know, if I'd have said in January or somebody had said, this is going to happen, you'd go, no chance that'll happen. Exactly, like it yeah. doesn't feel like. Only a month, only a couple of months ago, we were like all at the studio, like all hanging out and stuff. Yeah, all shaking hands and exactly yeah. hugging. Everybody <laughs> hugging. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, have you got any suggestions for people in the lockdown? Well, I don't know. I've been lo watching lots of other people suggesting stuff, mm. and then watching other people's videos how they're coping. Yeah, yeah. I spent more time watching Instagram videos of Sam Neil, I think, than mm. actually doing anything. Um, yeah. I would suggest there's lots of ukuleles going around, so I've noticed that too, actually. And once this yeah, is over, you're gonna have masses of ukulele bands breaking yeah. up everywhere. Yeah, my mate, my mate just <laughs> put a song, recorded a song on his ukulele and put it in our group chat. Oh, oh, right. uh, and he's he's gonna make a few more, I think. He says, yeah, he's trying I've to got, procrastinate. I yeah, I can't remember the chords. Which can't. It's it's essentially just. Guitar, isn't it? It's just the bottom strings of a guitar. Yeah, well, I'm but, not um, minded. So. Right. <laughs> it's I've got the the thing that helped me was I've got a guitar lately, so it's a six inch string. Oh yeah, lately, so nice. yeah. I just need to play guitar on it, and it just sounds the same. What's your history with the studio, and what does it mean to you? I um, I, I've been involved. Well, because I, I remember going to the studio when I was involved in this theatre company called Tad with a good friend. Um, Andrew Rogerson, you know, many will know as Splodge. Um, and we used to rehearse in there. And that's when it was a sports hall. So it was kind of like a white hall with green floor with markings on. You could go and play basketball and, and um, cricket. I think I got cricket nets in there, I think. Um, so that's the first time I entered that building. And then there's a bloke called Mike, Ch Mike um, Chatterton. He used to work for the Queen's Hall. And he decided it to turn it into a venue. So this is late 80s, early 90s. And then he changed it into, he got uh, money for it and he put in a PA, curtains, carpets, so completely changed it. Then they had loads of gigs on. And it was good and it was like they'd done in phases, so that was phase one. Never got to phase two. So then I've done lots of things, I've done gigs there, I've done plays there. I've been involved in dance projects, doing music for dance projects. Well, it's just been in my... Um, blood since say late 80s mm. and then obviously mm. Quint Hall shut and then Jackie yeah yeah saved it yeah oh good oh great very good yeah um, so you, how was authentic acoustic for you the other day and and in general like you've done a couple at this point um, so yeah I mean because that, that came about from Clive didn't it so yeah, yeah. Came up with this, and a bloke called Dean, can't remember, hmm. uh, Dean Bowers, and that they decided to do this authentic acoustic where people do original songs. I've always been a champion of people doing original songs. Yeah, we used to do ballistic acoustic, and then I started this thing called Earth Home, which hmm. was um, up at the Ring Bells in Witness, and that was all. I just kind of stressed that people should play original songs. So that's ace. Uh, so I'm just happy to be involved in anything really. I'm happy to play when yeah. uh, asked. You know, and and it's, it's a great audience down there at the studio. Really respectful, um, you know, good stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, how was um, it in compared to the the um, live one, the you know, on Friday? Uh, well, that was a bit weird. This is because I never do anything like this. No, so no, that, that was a bit strange. Yeah, um, I, I don't like. See, when I, I've done stuff in the past and people have recorded gigs, I have not watched them because I can't. <laughs> Uh, I can't look at myself or hear myself, so no, it's a bit strange, no. you know, you're getting the instant feedback, aren't you? Mm. But I think it was all right, and I just thought yeah, it was yeah. an upbeat song. Um, upbeat, that sounds really... It was good, it was, it was, it was that, 
how new is that? Because I don't know if I've heard that one before. Northern That's Wales. fairly new. That's about yeah. the band that it used to be in, in the 80s, yeah. and about the times we had. Um, and the Stephen, the manager, sadly passed away a couple of years ago. Um, mm. And it just kind of mentions him in the, in the, in the chorus. And, so it's pretty new. Oh, nice. Excellent. How are you with... Because um, you said you got quite nervous when you was... Um, Film, you know, when you was actually filming it. Yeah. How, are you, are, would you say you're getting better at that over time? F filming stuff. Yeah, but, like um, like for like online purposes, because I know I've got like quite a big fear about online presence. You know, like uh, putting our face online. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the same kind, but because mm. I'm not um, I'm not really um. Because I do get, I get nervous and I get, I'm, I'm sh I think I'm shy and I don't like mm. yeah, yeah. putting myself out there. But after doing that thing the other day, yeah. I thought, well, perhaps I could do this. So then I'm putting my songs out there because nobody, yeah, exactly. you know, nobody hears the songs. So perhaps it's an avenue that I should pursue mm. and uh, get my tunes out on the airwaves. Yeah. So to speak. So with that in mind, would you like to perform a song for us now? Yeah, I've got my guitar here. Um, okay, somebody's drilling again. Just hold on a second, I'm going to shut the door. Oh, can you hear the drill? A little tiny bit. A little bit, yeah. It's not like... Yeah, but it's not really annoying. Stop it in this kit. Can you hear the guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Should I just go for it? Just... Yeah, just... <laughs> Stop me if you can't hear it. I wish that I could leave it in the woods Let it never see the sun again It's in my nature to let it run loose To wear the broom Could be the blue tiles, the rock, the branch Lost forever, friend. Give me that last chance one more time. I wish that I could change. I wish that I could watch this boat go down. Forget to bail, turn out that haunting sound. I'm not a believer, I'm not a deceiver, yeah, I wear the broom. Could be the blue tiles, the rock, the branch, the lost forever friends. Give me that last chance, one more time. I wish that I could change. I wish that I could change. Ba da da da. Ba da ba ba. Ba da da da. Ba da ba ba. I'm not a believer. I'm not a deceiver yet. I wear the blue. I'm not a believer, I'm not a deceiver yet, I wear the boot, I wear the boot, give me that last chance, give me that last chance, give me that last chance. I wish that I could change. Give me that last chance. I wish that I could. Give me that last chance. I wish that I could. Give me that last chance. I wish that I could change. Hello. Um, is that all right? Is it yeah, that's good. Sounds really good. Sounds really cool. good.
I think I think seeing you live is like one of the best. Like, if you're on the lineup, the authentic acoustic. Definitely, yeah. Oh wow! Well, I, I enjoy the most out of like most other people. Oh, thank you. No, we all because that's the thing. We all do our thing, don't we? Mm. We do it how we do it. Yeah, yeah. People either like it or they don't like it. So, but yeah. Well, what what's your history from working with music? Well, okay. Well, I start. I've always liked music, and then when I was a kid, I used to make um because I didn't have any instrument. Well, I had a band. We had a banjo. I couldn't play it though, so I just used to use it as a drum. And then used to get the radio. Um, my mum had this Hitachi radio thing, like a massive thing. And you could do all this strange kind of um, listening to Russian uh, stuff and you get all this static. And used to make stuff out of that. And then I bought a real, so I was about 13 or 14, then I got a reel to reel, then a bass guitar, and then I got a synthesizer. And then my dad was like really supportive. He bought me a synth and a drum machine. Well, he actually bought me synth after getting beaten up, my nose broken, so I got um, criminal injuries. So out of that, I bought a rolling synthesizer, and then I joined a band called Paralytic Dance, and I used to write my own songs. And then I, I just I started I actually started doing just me with a synth and a reel to reel, doing a few gigs like that. And then mm. since then, I've been involved in music workshops. Uh, and then I was in a band in the eighties, and we got signed by Virgin Records. Um, in the 90s with the music workshops working with local music musicians like the ride catchers uh we were great great band um you know it's just, it's just always been around me mm. I'm, just, I'm just not very good at playing guitar though <laughs> i never learned how to play the guitar properly um yeah i mean do you ever play songs um from so that first band do you ever play songs that you wrote for that first band now and just think how your songwriting has evolved um, yeah, well, in the first band, I used to play on, I used to write most of the, so Tony, there was a bloke called Tony Dagnall who played keyboards in it, and he wrote most of the lyrics, mm. um, and, but then I used to write the song, he'd send me the lyrics, and I'd write the songs on piano, Yeah, and then go to the band and say, this is the song, and then they'd all work the parts up. So I do a different thing now, it's uh, with guitar, yeah, yeah. I don't know, the guitar just came about, um, and I, I just write on the guitar now all the time. Mm. So how do you, how, I mean, with that in mind, how do you write songs, like you personally? Well, I don't, I don't really have, I'm not like, um, I don't have a strict method. It's just mm. a, a, something comes to me. It's more like a feeling. That it sounds mm. daft, but it sounds more like a feeling. Uh, you know, and I might hear some words and I like the rhythm of the words and then I write the words down and then I'll pick the guitar. And main, my songs are mainly the same chords, but the capo moves up and down. Just to hide them, um, so I just sit there with a guitar, and the, you know it'll just come out kind of, and you know sometimes it's mm. quick, sometimes it takes a while. I think with regards to chords, I think that's fine to reuse because I, I said that to to Wayne in the last episode. I mean, canvas yeah. is canvas, isn't it? When you paint exactly, it. yeah, and um, and that's like that because I was listening to Neil Finn the other day doing Heroes, David Bowie, and it's so simple, and it's, yeah, yeah. it's just G D, you know, just the same chords we all use on a regular basis but it, but heroes is heroes isn't it exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. oh excellent okay um how how do people find you online with like music and stuff like that well do i'm not again i'm not it's the self-promotion thing that i need to get a grip of but well, i've got a soundcloud it's, page which is mm. soundcloud greg oldfield right i've got a facebook page which is facebook greg oldfield you said right. myspace i used to the uh, day I got MySpace, I think, in the last month of it being a thing. Oh, right. And then I real, I think I got it when Facebook was quite big. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm, I've joined this party quite late. Um, yeah. In the um, early days, it was ace. For yeah, music. Yeah. To share music. But, um, mm. yeah, Facebook killed it off, didn't it? It really did, yeah. Um, okay, Greg, thanks for, for, for joining us today. No problem. Um, Thank that you. was absolutely great. Thank you. It's been a good episode. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good. Cheers. Thanks very much for having me. Bye. See you later.